Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carrie, and I just received a friend mail from my amazing, ridiculously, like beyond ridiculously amazing friend Mary, who spoils me so rotten I legitimately can't even begin to tell you. I'm so shocked. I was not expecting this at all, you guys. I'm so stoked right now. I just had a really fun day. My mom and I went to the Long Island Fair which if you're familiar with Long Island, probably most of you are not, but it's at a place called the Old Beth Page Village Restoration. And it's like um, a building from like colonial times. It's like a town like from colonial times. They've got like blacksmithing booths and they show you like people make rooms and they have like candle making and all kinds of neat exhibits like that that are actually in the restoration all the time. And then, um, in addition to that, they have like fair stuff. So they had animals, they had pig races, they had diving shows, they had um, like a trampoline show. They have all the um, fun competitions like baking competitions and art and um, knitting and all kinds of stuff like that. Typically, they also have a poetry competition, which I entered for the first time last year and got an honorable mention, and I was so stoked to enter again this year. And apparently, one of the managers decided she didn't want to have the poetry competition this year for no apparent reason, so they didn't, which really, really stung, because that was the one thing that I actually was, you know, somewhat talented at and enjoyed doing. But anyway, my mom and I went together and we had an awesome, awesome time. Okay, now let me see what my girl Mary put in here. Ooh, I love this. It is a Halloween-y bracelet. And I'm gonna start wearing it like immediately. It's got regular pumpkins and also jack-o'-lanterns in black, purple, and orange. And I love it. It's going on right this very minute. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's going right on with my collection. With beads, these beads, FYI. I got an enormous gift of beads from Mary, so I made this bracelet with those. My wrist is just getting more and more full, and I don't care, I love it. I generally don't wear anything on my left wrist, once in a blue moon, but not often. I love it, I love it! Oh my gosh, this is the cutest washi! You guys, oh my god, it's got all these adorable little animals. I love this so much. And I am such a fan of Scotch brand, Scotch Expressions Washi. I'm like super into their washi lately. I buy a lot at the Dollar Tree and I like that too. And I like it because you get a lot in, a, in the roll. But sometimes it's kind of stiff. I don't know if you guys have used it. Like when you press it on something, it kind of tr tries to curl up every once in a while. I really like the consistency of Scotch brand washi. Not endorsed, obviously. Scotch, if you want to send me some washi, I'd be more than happy to take it off your hands. But um, I, I really do love Scotch brand washi tape. It's so cute. There's a little turkey. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And it's sky blue because Mary knows me so well. She knows that's my favorite color. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my God. You are absolutely ridiculous, woman. What is this? Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful, look at this, this beautiful two-faced bag of Oh my god, look at the back. It says you're like really pretty. Oh, you have no idea. I needed an ego boost today because my self-esteem is always down in the dumps. And don't mind that lovely hose in the background because my mother couldn't wait to water the plants. She just gave me the dirtiest look and took off, but whatever. I told her like 17 times I'm going to go record a video. Give me like 10 minutes of uninterrupted silence. And yeah, didn't happen. But I love this bag so, so, so much. This is the only Too Faced thing I've ever owned. So I'm really excited. I love it. But this makes me so happy. It makes me feel so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you did this, girl. Okay. Do I feel a card? Yes, I do. I feel a card. Okay. And yes, I will cut out the little piece where my name is. And it will go in my junk journal with some of the washi probably around it. Because you guys know everything, pretty much everything flat or nearly flat is going to at some point end up in a junk journal page. It just, that's just how it is. But let me see, let me get this open. And Mary always picks the cutest and most perfect cards. Like she just legitimately always knows. Oh, look at the kitty. It looks like my Sydney. 
I mean, my Sydney is all over orange, but anytime I see a ginger kitty, it's just, oh, it's my Sydney. It's my Sydney. Okay, what is this? Oh my gosh, how cute are these? I love these stickers. I am obsessed with them. They are so stinking adorable. And I love that she sent me two sheets because she knows me. One sheet I will probably like frame or something and the other sheet I will junk journal with. I, I'm, she knows, I'm such a goober. She knows me like inside and out. It's ridiculous that we haven't been friends for like 25 years that we've only known each other since March of this year, which is like cuckoo crazy. That What is that? April, May, June, July, August, September. Six months? Like, how is that possible? Anyway, but she's so, so cute. She said, greetings from one ginger cat mom to another. Oh, hi, Bubs. Hi, Scully. She's got two kitties just like we have two kitties. But Bubbles is her ginger kitty. Her cross-eyed ginger kitty. He's so cute. So is Scully. They're adorable. But anyway, greetings from one ginger cat mom to another. Here's another random small friend mail for you. Hope you enjoy. Sorry I had to cut the Harvest Stickers book to fit. Ooh, love and miss you, Mary. That means I'm going to find a Harvest Stickers book in here. I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm just grabbing things in order here. Okay, let's see. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is absolutely precious. Oh my gosh, and I love, this paper is amazing, you guys. It's, I don't know if you can tell. It feels like linen or something. It's textured. It is absolutely amazing. This would be like such a perfect autograph book if I was still a person that like used to get things signed. I used to go to like figure skating shows all the time when they had the big tours here on Long Island. They really have pretty much dismantled all the major figure skating tours. I think Stars on Ice may still be a thing, but at this point it's not the skaters that I grew up loving. It's like the current skaters and I still enjoy watching figure skating, don't get me wrong, but like the this, you know, the skating stars from the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, those are the people that I I truly 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 loved but I used to um you know get autographs and stuff sometimes at the figure skating shows or I used to love going to Lilith Fair I don't think Lilith Fair is the thing anymore either I went to I believe every year that they had it at least here in New York on Long Island I went every year and it was so much fun if you guys are not familiar google it it was a fabulous women driven music festival founded by Sarah McLaughlin and it was just oh, a day of incredible, incredible, incredible music. And I used to get autographs at Lilith Fair and stuff too. This would be a perfect autograph book. But since I don't really have opportunities to get autographs anymore, because if I get autographs when I go to my horror con, I just get them on a photo. It wouldn't be like in a book. This will be for special poems. Or actually, this could be a future junk journal because the paper is really nice and thick and it's like textured on both sides. Oh, this is gonna be a new junk journal. Cause actually I love the idea of having one that has just white pages in it so that I can go completely just buck wild, so to speak, and just decorate it however I want. I love the ones that I get that my friend Billy sent me, the ones that I typically do, which are, um, oh God, I can't think of the name of them right now. If you look back to my junk journal videos, you'll see. But um, they have patterned papers, which I absolutely adore. Don't get me wrong. They're amazing. They're my favorite junk journals in life, and I will always buy them. But sometimes you feel like you're a little bit limited because of the background paper. So having one with just white pages I think would be really, really fun. And I could write in it. I could doodle in it. I could, you know, do whatever. Um, do some collage because I love to cut up magazines and make collage collages. I guess collages is... Yeah, I guess that's a proper word for more than one collage. But um, I love to do that too. I could put photographs, I'll print them out of my printer. I'll print pictures of me and Mary from Monster Mania. They'll go in here. Oh man, I have so much fun with that book. It's fabulous. Okay, here is the book. Oh my gosh, these are so cute, these stickers. Holy cannoli, guys. Oh, look at how precious these are. I love them. Beautiful fall leaves and acorns. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at these animals. They're so stinking cute. I can't even, with their little scarves, holy cannoli, they're so precious. Oh, so you get, okay, so you get two of each sheet or is it three of each sheet? You actually get three of each sheet. 
So you get six sheets in all, and I absolutely love these. I've never seen these anywhere. You know I'm obsessed with stickers. Obviously, that some of them will be going in my new journal, my new junk journal. I love it, I love it, I love it. What is this? What is this? What is this? First of all, how stinking adorable is this bag? And yes, junk journaling it, of course, because it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's just empty, which is fantastic because I'm so junk journaling it. It is, so it's perfect. So what I'm going to do, because it's, you know, you open it up and it's an actual treat bag. So you could, you know, be like a normal human being and put treats in it. But as Mary knows my, you know, craziness, this is all to be cut up and junk journaled and I love it and she knows I'm the persevering star she like legitimately always gets it right I mean it's always lovely to get a gift don't get me wrong but when you get gifts from someone who knows you as well as Mary and I know each other I mean I think she knows me better than I know her I'm still working on it I know you know a lot about Mary but I just I, I can't wait to get to know more things about her but like legitimately everything I love like she knows it inside and out it's absolutely blows me away she's such a wonderful person you guys I wish she had a channel maybe someday she'll do a channel but in the meantime what I will do is I'm going to link you guys because she makes the most fabulous wax melts and bath bombs and um, whipped soaps whipped uh, yeah whipped soaps that's the right word for it and her her business is called Bastion's Boutique I'm going to link to her Etsy store it is not currently open it's a long story. She's dealing with a lot of, you know, unexpected, annoying, frustrating drama. And it's, you know, it's regarding a move and it should have been over ages ago. And this poor woman has had to deal with so much extra just crap with this move that she hasn't been able to um, reopen her Etsy shop yet. But I'm going to link you to it because you guys, her stuff is so wonderful. I took a bath with one of her bath bombs that I bought from her at Monster Mania last night. It is a scent called Avograss, and I don't know if Avograss, I actually, excuse me, gosh, I'm burping, I had Arby's. Um, <laughs> Avograss, I don't know if that's an actual scent or if that's something that Mary created, because I was, you know, in my mind, like, I had Brian, my husband, smell the bath bomb before I took the bath, and he's like, oh my gosh, it smells just like lemongrass. Is it lemongrass? And I said, well, technically, it's Avograss. It's A-V-O with grass, you know, as one word. So I was wondering if it was somehow like avocado and grass maybe mixed together. I don't know if it's, like I said, a real actual thing or if it's a thing that Mary created. But, oh my gosh, I cannot recommend avograss highly enough. I mean, all of her stuff is phenomenal. You'll you'll see when she opens. Definitely, definitely check out her store and, and buy from her because she's so wonderful. And her prices are so reasonable. And she makes everything with love and care. And, um, yeah, she's just amazing. And this is just a sideline thing. She has, like, a regular gig, you know, that she does. But this is what she loves and, you know, is passionate about. And you can tell in the quality of her products because they're wonderful. But anyway, I don't even know where I was going with that. Um, yeah, talking about how well she knows me. I don't know. Oh, train of thought derailed, but anyway, she's amazing though. Oh, because I was posting her link, okay, because I was going to say she doesn't have um, a YouTube channel that I can link you to, but I will definitely link you to her Etsy so that you can uh, check it out once she opens again, and also I will link you to her Twitter page for her um, for her business, Bastion's Boutique, so that way you can keep up to date as well, and she'll probably announce there first, and she also has a Facebook page for Bastion's Boutique, I'll link all of those down below, so that way you will know when she's open again, and oh my gosh, this is absolutely so stunning, I love everything about this, I love the unicorn, I love the stars, I love the crescent moon, you guys see what I'm wearing in my ears, probably not, but star and crescent moon earrings and stars by themselves so yeah and i love unicorns and i love blue and look at the back with the stars all over it and i love these beautiful flowers and is this the same kind of paper as that other one okay this one is different paper this one is just flat paper but it's also like nice archi archival quality it feels like paper so this one may not be a junk journal this one may just be like a writing and doodling in journal 
but I don't know. I may use this one as a junk journal too and just keep it because these I want to keep. I don't want them to get big and bulky like a typical junk journal. So I would use these for like just basically flat things, things that I cut out. Like I said, maybe collage pieces from magazines, uh, stickers, like little post-it notes. Like for example, where Mary wrote my name on the envelope, like that would be something I would put in here with some washi or some stickers maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I'll definitely be writing in them as well, but I love everything. This is just freaking ridiculous. I cannot believe you did this. I'm blown away, blown away. And P.S. It is Mary's birthday next week and you have package coming. It's it's little, I'm sorry, it's gonna be small, but it's from the heart, I promise. And my intentions were to mail it already by now, and obviously I haven't gotten it mailed yet, but I'm packing it today's Saturday, I'm packing it up tonight, and first thing Monday morning, it will be at the post office, and it should certainly get to you in Pennsylvania by your birthday, I hope, I hope, I hope. But, um, I just, I love everything. I love everything. But most of all, I love you, Mary, because you are like my soul sister, my heart sister. I've never had a sister, and I, I have, you know, several girlfriends I consider like my heart sisters. But um, to think that I've only known you, and I can't even believe it's only six months, that's ridiculous. I'm doing the math again, okay? March to April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, six months. That's absolutely cuckoo crazy to me I feel like I've known you my whole entire life and I feel like we've gotten so close in such a short period of time and not for nothing I mean I know a lot of people like truly highly value friendships that are made when they're young like you know oh I've known this person since I was four and whatever and I'm not disparaging that I have probably one friend that's super close with me, even though we don't talk all the time. Like, I know if we spent time together, because she lives in another state, like, we'd instantly, like, it would be like no time had passed, even though I haven't seen her in, gosh, 15 years, maybe? Probably about that long. She's hopefully coming up to New York for a visit this December. But she's legitimately, like, the only friend that I'm super close with, I think, still, since I was, like, a, a young, young child. And, and those friendships are amazing. I'm not disparaging them in any way, shape, or form. But I think that once you reach a certain age, you know... It depends. It's different for everybody. I happen to be 44. Mary, I'm not going to out her age because that's her business to share. But it's it's not too far off mine. She's younger. <laughs> I'm happy to tell you that. But um, I think when you make friends sometimes when you're older and, like, you know yourself better, like, you have a better sense of what your values are and what really matters to you, it's not so much about superficiality and pettiness and drama and competitiveness and all of the the yucky stuff that sometimes happens in female friendships particularly when you're younger um i think there's something really powerful to be said for women friendships you know for becoming friends when you're both you know i, I can't say fully developed because i don't think we're ever fully developed but um like I said, from from formed when you when you have a pretty good idea of who you are and what what's meaningful to you and what really matters to you, I think that sometimes those friendships end up being so deep and so lasting and so strong. And I know Mary will be my friend for the rest of my life, no question. And it doesn't matter that it's only been six months. It you know might as well be six years or sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> six years or sixteen years or twenty six years. It doesn't matter because I you know I I mean I know we'll get closer as time goes on, but like honestly, right now it doesn't even feel like that's possible because I feel like we're already so tight. God, I'm sorry, my nose is so itchy. Allergies, I guess. I don't know. I should shut up now, but um. But yeah, Mary's really, really a special person, and um, I, I, I'm plug, 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 plugging her products because honestly, even if she wasn't my friend, I would continue to shop with her because she's just, she's talented at what she does. Her husband sculpts, so he comes up with these incredible original sculpts that um, become the molds for her, for her um for her wax melts and stuff. I mean, between the two of them, they are both so talented in their own ways. And they're such special, wonderful friends of ours. It's, like Brian and I, like we don't really have a lot of couple friends. And it's so awesome that Mary and her husband, John, and Brian and I, 
you know, hit, hit it off as well as we did all four of us. And if they didn't live in Pennsylvania and we weren't in New York, you know, I know like if we were local, we would definitely hang out and do stuff together a lot. We're also hoping to get together around the holidays and meet in New York City because that'd be honestly about halfway for us. Um, we take our LIRR, she could take the Amtrak from, from Philly, which um, I know is like a doable thing because Brian and I, when we used to go to Monster Mania, the first two times we went, we actually took trains. We took the LIRR to Penn Station, then from Penn Station, we took Amtrak to, um, I believe it's Fifth Street Station. I'm probably getting the, the um, number wrong, but the, the station, the main train station hub in Philadelphia. And then we took, the first time we took a cab, which was ridiculous because we ended up crossing a bridge and we went from Pennsylvania into Jersey and they charged us like a fortune because we had to pay the bridge toll and the, you know, and pay the cabbie. And then the second time we just took a local like light rail train, which we didn't know about and that was cheaper. So we literally took three trains and now we drive and it's so much easier. But the point being that New York City is a halfway point about for us. So if we can manage it, I think it would be so much fun to get together with Mary, either Mary and John, you know, and do it the four of us or even if it's just Mary and myself just doing a girls day and go see the tree and Rockefeller Center and look at the windows at like Macy's and Saks and all that fun stuff and just do Midtown, you know, touristy fun things, you know. I, I am obsessed. I know I'm going on and I'm rambling. I don't, I don't care because I'm in the mood to chat with you guys. Um, if you're not familiar with New York City, my, one of my favorite places, probably on the entire planet. And granted, I've never been out of the U.S. I've only been on the West Coast of the U.S. twice to California. I've, other than that, never left the West, the, the, the West Coast, the East Coast, other than to go to Michigan twice. Yes, twice. And, and then twice to California. Other than that, I've never left the East Coast of the United States. So I've not been a whole lot of places. But in New York City, there is a park called Bryant Park that you'd probably be familiar with if you're a fan of Project Runway because the, um, the store mood where they, I don't know, I haven't watched it in ages, but where the contestants would buy their fabric and the Parsons School of Design, I believe it's called Parsons, are both located near Bryant Park and they did a lot of challenges based out of Bryant Park. It's the, like, it's my favorite place in the city by far and probably one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. Um, they do this beautiful winter village, like during all the seasons they transform Bryant Park. They actually have an ice rink, an outdoor ice rink in the winter time and you can skate for free if you bring your own skates. If you rent skates, you know, there's a fee for that or whatever, but the ice time and everything is completely free and it's just magical. I've only ice skated a couple times in my life and I'm really bad at it and I'm hoping that my friend Ty gets out here to the East Coast sometime this winter because she promised me a lesson and um, trust me when I tell you, you could not have a better person on the planet to teach you how to figure skate than my friend Ty. But, um, anyway, but, um, they have a little village that they set up with little food stands and little gift shops. And you can literally just get a hot chocolate and there's chairs and tables set up all over the park. And you can just sit for hours and just watch the skaters and watch, you know, watch people in general and it, it literally costs you I mean you know the price to get into the city yada yada but I mean once you get into the park like um, you know whatever food and beverages or souvenirs you buy is the only cost and you can have like the most amazing magical day in Bryant Park um, I introduced my friend Jane and her daughter Violet to it recently and they loved it and they do so many free events there I'm such a huge 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 fan so I'm thinking even if like we met up and we just spent half the day just sitting in Bryant Park having coffee and talking that Mary and John and Brian and I would have the best time but of course we'd show them some more touristy things too but anyway I hope 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 that happens I'm putting it out into the universe because I feel sometimes like if you put things out there you say them verbally that you know and, and you put your intentions out there I'm getting so new agey. My friend Jane has like made me open-minded to a lot of things I wasn't before, but putting your intentions out into the universe, you know, maybe you have a better chance of something good manifesting for you. So I hope that happens and that Mary and John and Brian and I get to do that this, this winter time. 
But anyway, I know this is really long. I'm sorry, guys, but I just felt like chit-chatting with you. And if you guys are New Yorkers or you're familiar with Bryant Park, um, definitely let me know if you've ever done, like, the Winter Village or any of the other fun seasonal things they do. They do free stuff there all the time. They do yoga. They do instructional classes. I learned to the very basics of embroidery there. They do free movie screenings. They do free... Um, free writing workshops, free book readings. It's it's just the most wonderful place that if it didn't cost my husband and I about 20 bucks each round trip for the train to get to Manhattan, I would literally live in Bryant Park. I would be there all the time. But anyway, and if you ever get to New York City, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Central Park is amazing, and Greenwich, um, not Greenwich Village, well, Greenwich Village too, but um, what is the other park? Washington Square Park is lovely, and I, I enjoy them both. But to me, Bryant Park is like the gem. It's smaller, it's more intimate, it's very centrally located in Midtown. It's just the most wonderful place, so you could literally just sit there for hours and hours and hours and have the best time plus they have a free reading library of books that you can borrow for free and magazines they have um ping pong tables i believe i think they have checkers and chess that you can oh it's just the best place i know this is a friend mail video and now all of a sudden it's like a new york city tourism video but yeah bryant park is just oh I want to go there right now because <laughs> I'm talking about it so much. But anyway, okay, shutting up because this is really, really long. I love you guys. Thank you for hanging in and watching all this with me. If you did, I appreciate it. Thank you, Mary. I love you so, so, so much. You know this, but I feel like when you love people, you need to tell them as loudly and as often as humanly possible. It's something that you can never, ever, ever, ever hear enough, especially if you've doubted being lovable in the past or even in your current life I know that I struggle with that still like feeling like you know I'm crap and I'm not worthy of being loved and I'm still learning to love myself but I believe me I'm very effusive in expressing my love for other people and if you knew me in real life trust me I'd be hugging you like crazy because I'm a big hugger I can't help it like a lot of times when you first meet someone and they stick out their hands, like I would never hug anybody without permission, but I'll say, I'm a hugger. Can I hug you instead? Because that's just like how I am. I mean, not at a job interview or something where it's inappropriate, but you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so just know that I'm hugging you guys like virtual hugs. <laughs> sending you my love especially mary you are the bestest girl and i really appreciate you guys watching this video thank you so much and i'll be back soon with more stuff bye